We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the trapper. The snare is broken and we are free. Good day, dear viewer. Welcome to our Great Controversy series. Speaking of snares, today we are looking at chapter 32, the snares of Saturn. And with me in studio to look in depth at, the, at this subject is Brother Nati, Sister Nube, Brother Tabella, and Brother Brighton. I'm going to ask Brother Brighton to pray for us. Uh, let us pray. Our dear and kind Heavenly Father, thank you for granting us this opportunity to meet and discuss your word. May you please come and everything that will happen, be it your will, and give all glory and honor to your name. What you ask unto Prophet told is that you forgive us our sins. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So today, we are speaking about snares of Saturn. Snares of Saturn. And before we go into the subject in depth, I just want us to, to, to define what is a snare and who lays snares. So a snare traditionally is uh, a rope or wire that is uh, configured in a loop. Uh, and it's meant for catching, for catching uh, birds or small mammals. Yes. So essentially a snare is a trap. Okay. So we realize that snares are cruel by nature. Hmm. They are designed to torture. They are designed to wound. A, and they are also designed to, to damage permanently or semi-permanently. They can also kill. So they are very, very dangerous. Who places traps? Hmm. I want to suppose that they <laughs> Yeah, and the people who are obviously hunting. Yes, hunters. Yeah. Yes. So they use the snares to, 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 to catch the prey, as my brother has said. So another thing that I want us to highlight is that they use something that is loved by mm. whatever that they want to catch. Okay. So for example, if they want to catch birds, yeah. they use seeds yeah. Yeah, mm. to attract the birds. So the mm. birds will think, oh, here is food, yes. uh, and not knowing that I'm dying here. Okay. Yes, yes. So today we're mm -hmm. talking about the master hunter. We are talking about the master predator, Saturn himself. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be talking about these hunters that we know that hunt birds and other mammals, mm -hmm. but we're going to be talking about the master predator. And I'm going to read from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. And it says, Be sober and vigilant, mm -hmm. because your enemy, the devil, is a mm -hmm. roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Like I said, today we are going to be talking about the snares of Satan. So let's just go right into the subject. Um, maybe before, before we get deep into it, we need yes. to put a disclaimer. Okay. And the disclaimer is found in James uh, chapter 1, verses 13 to 14. <laughs> and it reads, Let no one say when he is tempted... I am tempted by God. Yes. Mm. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn, <clears throat> sorry, but each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Yes. Like Brother Nati explained, mm -hmm. when uh, a, a predator wants to, to, to catch, obviously, prey. Yes. In the trap, they use something that is attractive yes. to the prey. Yeah. Yeah. So when you want to catch a bird, as they explained, you use seeds. Yeah. You cannot use peanut butter to catch a bird. No. If you want to catch a mouse, maybe, then you yeah. can use peanut butter or cheese. Yeah. So in the same manner, the devil, as we have established, that yeah. the devil is um, um, the, the, the predator. He's the one who sets the snares. Mm -hmm. He then looks for what is attractive to us. Yeah. Yeah. I personally don't have a, a, a problem uh, concerning alcohol. Okay. So the devil can't come to me with and alcohol. trap me yeah. with alcohol. Hmm. But in, in, in other places where I am lacking, the devil will use that as an advantage to try and entrap me. Hmm. Okay. What we should yeah. also realize is that uh, the devil 
sadness for everybody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everywhere. Yeah. So we are not safe in any moment yeah. to think we have so much capacity mm -hmm. that yeah. we can do things on our own. When I say everywhere, I mean, uh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we must understand that the devil sets traps for everyone, yeah. basically. Mm -hmm. So there is no way at any time we can say we are able to manage things with our own capacity. Yeah. And he, he has not, is not respecter of any occasion yeah. to an extent that the devil would come even in the church yes. when we are congregating. Now, here is the danger. The writer says the devil comes into the church yeah. when people are congregating. Yeah. So he can deceive the hearers. Yeah. He does not start with the hearers. Mm -mm. He starts with the person who prepares the subject at home. Yes. Mm. That's why it is important that before we delve into the word of God, yes. we first ask the Holy Spirit to, to come and, and guide us and explain to us and keep the word in us. Remember, I can read. Maybe without the guidance of the Holy Spirit, I yeah. would forget somewhere along yes. the way, which is exactly what the devil wants. Yeah. When we have prepared whatever subject we are going to deliver to the children of God, it is imperative yeah. that we stay within the presence of God. Amen. Nothing should disturb us in yes. that realm of time until we deliver the subject. When we have delivered it, it yes. is important that it finds this, uh, hearts that are ready to receive, yes. hearts that are in Christ. Once we allow the devil in our congregations, hmm. what God wants to be accomplished is not accomplished because the hearers are not ready. The one who is giving is not ready. Yeah. And um, an another, sorry, another thing that I want to add is that you know, when the hunters uh, uh, plan to, 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 to catch something, yes. mm -hmm. they study it very well. Yes. Yeah. So that's what the devil does to us. Uh, one time I was watching uh, some documentary and I, 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 I studied about the people called Eskimos. Okay. So these people, when they want to catch uh, wolves, yeah. they will use a very sharp sword yes. and then they will place, they will place uh, frozen blood on it. Mm. And then wolves will come around and then they will check if there is anything around. And then they will go and we know wolves love uh, blood. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then they will start sniffing and licking uh, uh, this sword. Yeah. And up to a point where the, 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 the frozen blood is no more. Mm -hmm. And then the salt will be exposed. Mm. The sharp salt will be exposed. Mm. And then the wolf, because the, the, the tongue is now numb because of the frozen uh, uh, blood, mm -hmm. will continue to leak. Mm -hmm. And the blood will be now more nicer, fresher, and warm. Mm. Not knowing that it is now testing mm. its own blood. Wow. Mm. It will leak and leak aggressively until mm -hmm. it dies. Mm -hmm. So the devil will use whatever that mm. we love to kill us. That is why the Bible says we should love the Lord your God with all, all your heart. heart and all your mind and your soul because the devil might should struggle to find something to mm. catch you because mm. you love the Lord your God mm. and mm. you'll be able to identify a trap. Mm. Mm. Okay, he yeah. is... So there's just okay. something I wanted to do. Right. There's a callback I wanted to mention to chapter 29, mm. which is the origin of evil. Okay. Um, in that chapter, we learned that the devil... After he was after he was convinced of his wrong, yeah. uh, because of pride and jealousy, yes. mm -hmm. uh, decided to put all of his wits, all of his all of his might into mm -hmm. into deception. Mm -hmm. So we should know that the devil is actually very he's a specialist, and that's why I was I was glad when you read uh, James chapter one verse fourteen, where it says, "But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires yeah. mm -hmm. and enticed." Mm -hmm. So one thing I want to to bring out is that when 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 we don't uh, put the effort um, yes. to resist the, the, the devil, mm. then he becomes indifferent to you. Mm. If, if you are in the world, if you are living in sin, the devil does not uh, yeah. put his efforts to keep you in yeah. such a situation. Yeah. Mm. It's like trying to hunt the chickens in your coop. So you don't put any effort mm. into, into these but the effort is is uh in is is the effort that the devil puts is with those who who seek to know God, mm -hmm. those who are still in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And as we know from First Peter five verse eight, the, the devil is a ravenous lion yes. seeking whom you may mm -hmm. hey. Amen. So the devil is described as a skillful general. Yeah. Who lays his plans way beforehand. So we also learn that uh, he can use anything, 
to distract anyone. Yeah. Mm. And he has got uh, heresies that are custom made mm. for every, each and every, every one of yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, the other trap that we find here is that he tempts people to overindulgence. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lack of self-control. Yeah. Mm. He makes them to be obsessed with things, uh, unholy passions, so as to suppress their love and need mm. of God. Can we just uh, discuss a little bit on that? Obsession. Self-control. Habits, lack of self-control, all mm. those things. How does the devil trap us on all those points? It, it, it actually reminds me of the story of Jacob and Esau. Yeah. Mm. You see, the devil waits for you until you're at your lowest. Okay. And mm. then when you're at your lowest, as my brother said, he's a master technician. He knows exactly when to trap you, how to trap you, what to bring to get you where he wants you to be. Okay. Mm. So Esau comes back hungry. Mm -hmm. And Jacob says to Esau, Give me your birthright. I, I want you to see the difference between the two. Yes. He, he says, I'll give you a, a, a plate of lentils yeah. for you to give me your birthright. Mm. Now, if Esau was full, Jacob was not going to propose mm. a, 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 a plate of soup. Mm. <laughs> it is yeah. because Esau was hungry that he proposed a plate of soup. A, a plate of soup. Yes. And if Esau was full, there is no ways he was going to let go of a birthright because of a plate of soup. But because he was hungry, yeah. he saw temporal pleasure yes. better than eternal gain. Wow. So the devil comes to us and he brings to us temporal pleasure. Yes. And he says, here, I will give you temporal pleasure. But because we are so hungry for that temporal pleasure, we do not see what's at stake. And so he says, let go of your eternity at the risk of eternity, at the risk of eternal joy, at the risk of inheriting paradise. I want to give you something that will make you happy and it will make you happy right now. Yes. And unfortunately, so many of us have fell into that trap mm -hmm. because we cannot see yeah. what is ahead. Yeah. But because of what the devil brings right here and right now, and because of our thoughts that are so easily enticed yes. by these sins, we yeah. decide to let go of eternal pleasure for temporal pleasure. Mm. Mm. That's true. I think the other thing that is important is yeah. for us to realize that uh, the the uh, the health message mm. is the right hand of the gospel. Yes. The reason why the health message is the right hand of the gospel is that if if the body is right, if the mind is right, yes, then we are able to think well. Secondly, the Bible says your bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Let's speak into indulgence, intemperance. Mm -hmm. If we don't eat right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit does not habit our bodies. Yes. We, we automatically throw out the Holy Spirit. Yeah. If the Holy Spirit is not our conscience, then we are numb to divine things. Yeah. We become deaf of yes. divine things. So that over time, even when the Holy Spirit speaks, yes. we don't hear. Therefore, the danger is in that yes. if we are intemperate, yeah. The Holy Spirit does not habit us. The Holy Spirit doesn't become our conscience. Yes. When he speaks, we do not hear. And this speaks to the chaoses that yeah. happen in our families, yeah. in our schools, yeah. in our churches. Yeah. It is our numbness yeah. to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 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 Another thing that I want to add is that um, the reason why uh, there is so much a uh, lack of self-control is because um, we have forgotten that these are not our bodies. This mm -hmm. is the temple of God. Yes. So the devil will make you think that you are, you, you are of your own. Yeah. Mm. Therefore, you need to do anything to, 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 to satisfy your human body, mm -hmm. even if it's against the word of God. Yeah. Yeah. So we need to study more the word. We need to pray so that we will be able to, to control this body. Mm. Because I, I'm telling you, especially we as young people, yeah. many things, we find them very difficult. Yeah. But if we pray, God will make those things easier for us to control ourselves. Because if there's no self-control, mm. then the devil will use the things that you love mm. to destroy you. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read from Great Controversy, page 521. That's paragraph one. Satan well knows that all whom he can lead to neglect prayer in the searching of scriptures mm. will be overcome mm. by mm. attacks. Mm. Mm. This takes us to the other trap that he, he lays for us. 
Therefore, he invents every possible device to engross the mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There has ever been a class professing godliness who instead of following on to know the truth, make it their religion to seek some fault of character or error of faith in those whom they do not agree with. Such are Satan's right-hand helpers. Accusers of the brethren are not few, and they are always active when God is at work. Hmm. Now, let's speak to the accusers of brethren. Look yes. here, this is what the devil does to you. Yeah. Uh, when you are, you are called to yes. go and present something to the children of God on a heavenly mansion, the devil reminds you of your sins. Yes. Yeah. He makes sure he torments oh you goodness. with your sins. Yes. So that by the time you get where you are supposed to be giving the message of God, you have already been compromised. Yes. Mm. You, you, you are not able to deliver what you are supposed to deliver. Therefore, let us stay away from evil so that we may run away from the snares, so that we are able to operate at our 100% optimum in the Lord yes. without anything that the devil can torment us with. Thank you so much, my sister. We are going to take a break. See you after the break. Welcome back. Today we are looking at the snares of Saturn and that is chapter 32 of the Great Controversy. And before the break, we spoke about the importance of prayer and the studying of scripture to say that if we neglect prayer and we neglect the studying of scripture, then we are praying to the devil. Brother Brighton. Matthew 26 verses 41. Watch and pray, mm. lest you enter into temptation. Yes. The spirit indeed mm -hmm. is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yes. Mm. It reminds me of the story of Balaam. Mm -hmm. A king goes to Balaam. Mm. He says to Balaam, oh, go to, to, to the children of Israel and curse them for me mm. so that I can have a clear passage. Uh, Balaam goes and instead of blessing them, he curses them. Mm -hmm. Until Balaam comes up with an idea, he says, while their hearts are inclined with their God, yes. there is nothing you can do to them. Okay. If you want to destroy this nation, turn their hearts from their God. Okay. Separate okay. them with their God. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so... Um, they come up with a, with a device to separate them from God, okay. which is exactly what the devil does. Yeah. And so when Mrs. Ellen G. White says, if we lack in prayer and in the reading of scripture, we then become prey to yeah. the devil. Mm. Because the devil wants to drive us away yeah, from, God, from God. Because yeah. he knows very well that while we are with God, there is nothing he can do to us. Actually, if you read the chapter, Mrs. Ellen G. White says, even the least of the people, as long as they are inclined with God. Yes. They are no match to the devil. So the yes. devil wants to separate us from God because he knows that when we are far, we are far from God, mm -hmm. then we are prey to him. Hence, Mrs. Ellen G. White says, if we do not pray and we do not read the scripture, then we become prey to the devil. Yeah. Yeah. Lukewarm people are a special breed. <laughs> they are those that are neither <laughs> hot nor cold. <laughs> cold. Mm. They are <clears throat> one foot in the church and one, one foot out. Mm. Yeah. So this 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 kind of people is they are very dangerous because they act as as double agents. Right. But keep in mind, keep in mind, in order for you to to enter the kingdom of heaven, you need to you need only be hot. Mm. Yes. yes. That is the only way. You need to be on this one side, hot. Yes. And to enter or rather to, to miss out mm. on the kingdom of heaven. You have to be anything that is not, not hot. hot. Mm. Yeah. Anything that is not hot. So one that is one foot in, one foot out, cannot act for both sides, mm -hmm. but can only act for one side. Mm. And that is the side that is not hot. hot. And such people are, are very dangerous. We mm. have them. And this is a snare that, that, um, that we have in the church. Usually people like this, we mentioned earlier that when you are when you are a chicken in the coop, uh, the hunter will, will not bother yeah. will not bother going uh, bother hunting you yes. because you are already in his coop. Yeah. yeah. So these people now act as double agents. Mm. They are in the church. They are, they are special agents of the devil yeah. mm -hmm. because they carry out his purposes. Yeah. 
these people are the people mentioned in Second Timothy chapter 3. Verse 5, it says they have a form of godliness. Oh, but they the power they yes, these people you should turn away from. Um, it even mentions in verse 8, Janus and Jambres who resisted Moses. Yeah. You remember when Moses um, was sent by the Lord to, to release, to, to Pharaoh, mm. uh, to entreat Pharaoh to release his people. Mm -hmm. And when Moses had uh, t turned his rod into a snake, mm. Janus and mm. Jambres, the two um, sorcerers of Pharaoh, opposed Moses despite knowing mm. that this man was sent of God. Instead, they resorted to their, um, to their attackers and their trickery to oppose Moses. But we should know that such, peop such people uh, are, are there in the church. Yeah. Mm. They may be your pastors, your elders. Um, there is warning from Jesus himself in Matthew chapter 17. Ma Matthew chapter 7, my apologies. He says uh, in verse 16, you will know them by their fruits. Mm -hmm. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes no. mm -hmm. or figs from thistles? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Ev even so, every good tree bears good fruit. Yeah. And, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. Mm. Um, the verse that he read yes. uh, mm -hmm. speaks of the church of Laodicea. Yes. Yeah. So when you read about this church, you'll find that this church, they, they were rich, mm -hmm. but they had one thing, one problem. Yeah. They lacked water. Okay. okay. So they had to uh, uh, buy water from a far land. Mm. Mm. So, and they'll transport this water through pipes. Okay. So by the time the water reaches the church of Laodicea, yeah. yes. the water was lukewarm. Okay. Okay. And you know, if you drink water, uh, mm. lukewarm water, mm. after drinking it, you feel like vomiting. Mm. Yeah. Because it, 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 is not nice, yeah. it is not nice to drink. Yeah. So when Jesus said these words, he was simply sh giving them something that they are familiar with. Mm. That mm. you mm. know how okay. your water tastes. Mm. So if you are in one foot inside church and one foot out. Mm. That's how I feel about you. Mm. You know, the reason why I love God is that He is very uh, specific. Mm -hmm. If you are lost, yeah. he, he, he keeps on looking for you. Yeah. Mm. And if you are in here, He, he wants to keep you here. Yes. But if you are in between, between he says, I spit you out. Yes. Because <laughs> in other words, you disgust me because yeah. you are you are neither here nor there. Yeah. I'd rather have someone who's lost and make yeah. means of bringing them in yeah. than yeah. someone who's here today and yeah. someone who's outside. Yeah. And we, we also have the, the very same problem it's in the church right now. Yeah. During mm -hmm. the week, we are of the world. Oh. But on Sabbath, we, we are the God. most holiest people in, on earth. Yeah. So we need to know that if we do that mm -hmm. to God, we are disgusting. Yeah. And mm. he's saying what? I will spit you, you out. out of my mouth. Mm. So decide whether you are cold or oh, hot. hot. You know, if we have someone who is missing, mm. we go to the police station and report a missing case. Mm -hmm. But if we, you are here with us, okay. we are, we're not going to do anything because we think you are here with us. Yeah. Lately, do, yeah. we, do we know that you are lost? Yeah. A lost coin yeah. is here but lost. Hey. Mm. Now, there is another group of people that the devil has created a snare for. Yeah. Mm. These are the people who endeavor to, to, to think they are wiser than God and search into the mind of God. Yes. Mm. God says in his scripture, there are things that he has revealed to us. Yeah. Yeah. There are things that he has kept a mm. secret from exactly. us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, dev the devil has risen amongst the children of men, philosophers, who think they can look into the mind of God <laughs> and find mm. the secrets of heaven. Mm. Yeah. So the devil keeps them locked there. Mm -hmm. And they cause a lot of confusion yeah. because when they come to church, they want to speak against the word of God as if they were God himself. Mm. Yes. What they don't realize is that the spirit that made the devil fall from heaven yeah. was the mind of wanting to search the mind of God mm. and find out secrets that were not revealed to him. That's the very mind that the devil planted in the fallen angels. Yes. That's the very mind that the devil has also uh, planted in the people who think they are philosophy fast mm, yeah. and they can search the mind of God. They are in a very uh, a bad space. They are in danger yeah. because they are not outsiders. Yeah. They yeah, are in the like church, mm. but they cause a lot of havoc yeah, and cause yes. a lot of people to, to be deceived. That's why and we, end up, we end up having mm. uh, new translations of Bibles. Yeah. 
some some man-made theories yeah. that want to explain the Bible. So the writer is saying, let's stay away from such such a mind. Yeah. We must remember we are we are infinite beings. Yes. Who are made a little lower than angels. Yes. There is no way mm. we can search the, the mind of God, but we should have contract spirits mm. so that we can make it to the kingdom. Yes. Thank you so much, my sister. We cannot be wiser than our creator. We must realize our littleness. Mm and his bigness. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the spirit of humility is needed mm. for us to be safe from the devil. Mm. Because if we, if we have the spirit of pride, the spirit of supremacy, of self-exaltation, then we will fall prey to his snares. Mm. I just want us to look at something else as well mm -hmm. that stems also from that pride that comes with having education mm. or, or advancing in technology and in scientific fields, we are told that many theories and beliefs and denominations have come up as a result of that. And that is the work of the enemy. Hmm. And now you will find some people who, who look at Christianity and they despise it. They say, you people, you say you worship the same God. But look at you. You have got different theories and different beliefs and so many other things. So different denominations, theories, and beliefs, they have also come to cause discord and confusion. And many people have fallen into that trap, and it has hurt the cause of mm. God. Um, if anyone would want to add on to that. Yes, the, I can add on that. Yes. <clears throat> so I, I would like to bring you back to what we mentioned before. We said that um, the devil has heresies that are tailor-made for for each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. uh, the history of epidemiology. Mm. Mm. So epidemiology is the study of epidemics. Mm. So before before uh, science had um, a proper understanding of of micro microbiology of microbes of microorganisms, mm -hmm. uh, invisible organisms, right, basically. People had always had the belief that disease is 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 spontaneously generated. Okay. Like sometimes, let's say if the air is dirty, mm. spontaneously the disease uh, emerges. Mm. Or if you leave your food long, spontaneously it rots. It rots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, scientists uh, endeavored to uncover what really happens, and they they uncovered that. Um, it's actually microorganisms that are responsible. I think uh, a microbiologist by the name of Anthony van Leeuwenhoek invented the microscope mm -hmm. and then was able to see microorganisms. Mm -hmm. okay. So when when this um, when this was brought to the the scientific community, it was actually rejected because van Leeuwenhoek was actually a pattern maker, hmm. and, oh. he, and he made he made these. Uh, microscopes as a hobby mm. and looked and recorded as a hobby. But yeah. because he wasn't part of the scientific community, yeah. they rejected what he brought forth. Mm. Mm. Didn't have credential. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they didn't take him seriously. Mm. So it took a long time, longer than it had to. It took a long time for the scientific community to then accept um, the, 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 the true nature of epidemiology mm. as we know it today at least. So we know that for, uh, from Proverbs 1 verse uh, 7 that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge mm -hmm. but fools despise wisdom and mm -hmm. instruction. Yeah. And just like the, the scientific community in the time of Anthony van Leeuwenhoek, uh, we have people who will quote verses, actually they'll half quote a verse, mm. they'll quote half of the verse and explain their their theory mm -hmm. their own incorrect theory mm -hmm. and disregard the second half which actually disproves their theory mm -hmm. or they will just completely misinterpret the the verse entirely and that is one of uh one of the snares that the, the devil uses against us actually i've had an experience with someone who did that they quoted the bible for me uh, he says uh, i do believe that god exists mm -hmm. but what i do not believe he says, I believe that God exists. 
I believe that Jesus Christ exists. Yeah. But what I do not believe and I do not understand yeah. is how Jesus Christ died for my sins. Wow. And so he quotes, he quotes the Bible for me. He quotes the verse where uh, it explains that Jesus was crucified yeah. because he said he is the son of God. And this question to me is where does your sin come in there? The reason why Jesus was crucified is because he believed mm. that he is the son of God. Mm. But instead of him reading further, mm. where it explains that he was actually the son of God. He was not merely claiming to be the son of God. That part he chose to disregard and he chose to look at the one that made him feel comfortable. And so there are people who degrade scriptures yeah. so that scriptures can accommodate their lifestyles. There are people who degrade scriptures so that scriptures can accommodate their beliefs and their denominations. And this is actually one of the snares that the devil uh, uh, brings so that it can infiltrate the church. Thank you so much, Brother Brighton. No man is safe for a day or an hour without, without prayer. prayer. Yes. Because there is a hunter out there who is setting snares every everywhere yeah. waiting to catch us mm. for now we are going to take a break and after the break we are going to conclude the session see you after the break back and thank you so much for joining us if you're just joining us today we are talking about the snares of Saturn. we're looking at chapter 32 of the great controversy just before the break we're talking about the fact that there are some people who deny that jesus is god yes Brother Brighton. yes yes um actually yes i was touching on that mm -hmm. um this is actually one of the snares the devil introduces into the church yeah the the denial of jesus and him being god mm -hmm. uh, but the bible simply and explicitly states that we have no other mediator okay. between us and god himself yeah. so when jesus christ was was waking lazarus up from the mm -hmm. dead yeah. he calls in the presence of everyone, he says, Father, so that you can hear me. And he says, I am speaking out loud, not because I believe that you have to hear me speaking to you, but so that these people who do not mm. believe might know that you are, you are my father and I am your son. Yes. And so there are those who deny the, the existence of Jesus Christ, and some even deny the existence of the devil. Mm. But I think um, this world is proof that the devil exists. And so the devil wants to, to, to put all these ideas into our minds so that he can actually deceive us from uh, looking at Jesus and looking at the cross when the Bible simply says there is no other name in which we can be saved, save the name of Jesus Christ. Much as the devil has set snares all over, yet the, it, it, there is comfort in the word of God. He says, I have given you ample evidence for faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. Much as there are snares around you, yeah. mm -hmm. I have given you ample evidence for faith mm -hmm. for you to choose to stay with me. But nevertheless, mm -hmm. if we are looking for hooks so you can hang, hang your doubts, yeah. I will provide the hooks mm. so that you can hang your doubts. Remember, one doubt leads to another. Yes. And another and another until God says, eventually, I withdraw my spirit and leave the, their houses unto them desolate. God says, if we continue to be disobedient, yeah. continue hanging these, these, these doubts on the hooks, yeah. he removes his spirit yeah. gradually. Yeah. Because we also be, become numb, deaf to it. He removes it gradually so yeah. that at the end of the day, we are left alone. Therefore, this is encouragement for us to say, let us continue to search after those things. Delight mm. After the will of God, so that our faith grows and we are able to overcome the sins of the devil. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the devil has set so many traps for us, so many snares that we can fall into. The other one is of political correctness. Mm -hmm. You know, there are so many that many things that the devil is putting out there today. And if we dare speak against them and mm -hmm. we stand for the truth, yeah. we are denounced. Mm -hmm. mm. As people who are who mm. speak uh, hatefully, Heresy. people who are homophobic, people people who are heretic, and therefore so many people fall into the trap of wanting to be politically correct, but in the at the same time they end up compromising on the truths that they know. Mm -hmm. But at this moment in time, I just want us to speak to the fact that in as much as there is this predator who is called the enemy. Mm -hmm. We have not been left alone. Yeah. The Lord said, I'll never leave you, mm -hmm. nor forsake you. Yes. Are we safe? 
Is there someone who keeps us safe or how can we be safe from this enemy who has set so many traps for us? I'm going to read from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 12. And we are told, the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous mm -hmm. and his ears are open unto their prayers. And who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? Mm. Mm -hmm. God is for us. Let us speak to that. When we began, we, we, we had a disclaimer that yes. God does not tempt. And if the devil tempt, tempts, then I love your question mm -hmm. when you ask, what what part does God, what role does God play mm. in this whole fiasco? Mm. When Paul is talking to the church of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, he says, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to men. Yeah. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond, beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So number one, while God does not tempt, uh, does not tempt us number one he does not allow the devil to tempt us with something that can overcome us yes, number course. two as much as he allows mind you he allows the devil to tempt us mm. because through those temptations then we are strengthened mm. so as much as he allows us to be tempted he then provides an escape route mm. out of that temptation mm. and then when he speaks to the church of romans in romans uh, 7 verse, verse 15 he says for what i am doing i do not understand Mm -hmm. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. Mm -hmm. But what I hate, that I do. If then I do what I will not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. But now it is no longer I who do it, but mm. sin that dwells in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, nothing good dwells. For to will is to present with me, but how to perform what is good, I do not find. So he says, uh, uh, the, 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 that's why when he talks to another church, he says we are fighting a, a, a fight, not of flesh and blood, yeah. but of principalities. And so when he explains, he says, there are things that I want to do. Yeah. Like the verse that we read earlier, that the flesh is willing but the spirit is not so paul says there are things that i want to do but those things i cannot do because mm. the flesh in itself mm. is it's not willing to do good and when another verse explains it says the heart is desperately evil mm. and so he says there are things i will to do but i cannot do and then we find our comfort in the fact that even though we cannot ourselves attain mm. that standard of righteousness god then provides a way that we can attain that standard of righteousness Thank you yeah. so much. Mm. I also want to add, um, to answer the question, we know that um, the devil that we are up against yes. is someone who is very intelligent, mm -hmm. someone who was able to convince the dead of the angels yeah. yes. from the perfect place in yes. heaven. And he was able to deceive them. Yeah. So how much more is we are human beings, mm. we are mm -hmm. human beings. Mm. So it shows that we are up against someone who is very intelligent, but yeah. the Bible says to us, with Christ, we are more than conquerors. conquerors. Yes. So if you are with Christ, you must know that you are playing for the winning team. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, sometimes uh, I love soccer. When I watch soccer, I'm always worried, is my team going to, to win? win? Yeah. But this team that we are playing for, we, know. we definitely know that know. at the end we are going to, to win, win because Christ fought and he won this thing and on the cross. Amen. Mm. So I just want to, to encourage us that whatever snares that the devil has prepared for us, mm -hmm. we need to pray without ceasing, as, yeah. the, as the Bible says yeah. with us. And I want to read the book of um, Joshua 1 verse 8. This is my favorite verse. It says, mm -hmm. This book of law shall not depart from your mouth, mm -hmm. but you shall meditate in it day mm -hmm. and night, mm -hmm. that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. all the formula is there for us to use. Yeah. In order for us to succeed, we need to study the weight. It says, this book of law shall not depart your mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You read the quote that we are not safe, safe mm -hmm. if we don't pray for yes. an hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So this book says, day and night you shall meditate in it. Mm -hmm. This is how we are going to, 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 to fight the devil. We know when, when the devil tempted uh, 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 Jesus, yeah. he was always saying, it is written. Mm -hmm. He fought him with the scripture. Yeah. So we should use the very same method. Whenever, whatever, whenever it comes to us, mm -hmm. we're going to fight back with the scripture, scripture. and prayer. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we're going to win. Mm. I wanted to say that the life, the life of, his, of Jesus, indeed, is a testimony to yes. what Brighton and uh, Natip touched on. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, temptation, the temptations that we face, uh, are not something we can overcome on our own. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, one might try and look at the life of Jesus and say that Jesus was was perfect and he did not. Um, he did not concede to temptation. He did not fall mm. because of tem temptation. But we know, we know for a fact from the life of Jesus that he was also extremely prayerful. Yeah, yeah. he was always praying, even before his cru crucifixion. Mm. He prayed. He prayed. Yes, that is what that, that is something that we need to do. Mm. And just to answer the question as well, uh, I want to read uh, James four verse seven to ten. It says, therefore, submit to God. Mm. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Oh. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Mm. Lament mm. and mourn mm. and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will, he will lift, lift you up. up. Amen. I think we should also understand that the only way we can escape the snares is mm. for us to understand that mm. the battle is not ours, mm. Mm -hmm. but it is the Lord's. Amen. That's why Paul says to live is Christ yes, and to, to die, die is great gain. He mm. says, imitate me, mm -hmm. for I imitate Christ. Mm -hmm. And he goes further to say, the works that I do yeah. are not mine. That's why I cannot boast. I cannot take credit for them. Therefore, what Paul is simply saying is he understood the con concept of I am the vine. You are the branches. If you are tapped into me, you are safe yes. from the snares. And you also give fruit that then becomes of substance to people even around us. So the whole, the most important thing for us to understand is the only way we can escape the snares of the devil is to be in Christ because the battle is not ours. Thank you yeah. so much, my sister. At this moment in time, I'm going to give my panelists an opportunity to say their closing remarks because we have come to the end of our session. I'm going to start with you, Brother Nati. Yes. So I want to say this. We need to be careful of the things we love. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very difficult for us to escape the snares of the devil if we have things that we love more than God. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. For example, if the devil knows that you love money, yeah. he's going also. to... <laughs> You're going to struggle. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to present opportunities to you that will make you to lose focus. Yes. And then you'll focus more on, on pursuing these things. You, you'll focus more on pursuing businesses yes. to get money. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then you'll end up forgetting uh, the kingdom of God. And, yes. and, and you, you must listen to me carefully. There's nothing wrong with, with, with having money yes. and being prosperous. Yes. But we should not love it more than God. Amen. Because once you love it more than God, the devil will make it your idol. Amen. Yes. You, so it's, it's going to be, your, your whole focus is going to be it. And then at the end you lose the, 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 the kingdom. Amen. And and I'm reminded of the story of Lot's wife. Yes. You know, when they've left uh, Gomorrah and Sodom, the yeah. Bible says she looked back. Mm -hmm. Why did she look back? Mm. Because she was out, but now he, her heart was still back. Mm. Mm. So many of us, God will take us out of many different situations. Yes. But if our hearts are still in the world, we're going we to be what? Be safe. We cannot be saved. So we need to make sure that we love Christ more than anything. Then by doing that, we'll be able to, to, to overcome. Thank you so much. My sister, closing remarks. Towards the end of time, the devil will create counterfeits that are so close to the truth to deceive whoever is willing to be deceived. To give a hook to whoever wants to hang it out. Yes. Therefore, the word of the Lord says, temperance, self-denial, yes. as we prepare for the end of time, so we don't lose focus. Yeah. My brother. Um, 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 says, 
all scripture is given inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Mm. Verse 17, that the man of God may be complete, mm -hmm. thoroughly equipped for every good work. But I implore, I implore each and every one of us here and all our viewers to stay in tune with the word of God, to read it with humility and prayer so that you may not be deceived. Second Corinthians 6 verse 14. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? Mm. And what communion has light with darkness? Which brings us to 1 John 2 verse 15. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of the life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the last of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Mm. Thank mm. you. Thank you so much for joining us for this session. And in closing, I'll also read from Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 11. Mm. And this one says, Put on the whole armor of God, mm. that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm. Thank you so much. At this point in time, I'm going to ask my brother Marty to pray for us. Let's close our eyes. Father God, we thank you for that powerful review we just had and discussion. Lord, it is evident that with you on our side, nothing is impossible. No one can defeat us if you are on our side. Mm -hmm. But many times, Lord, we depart from your presence and we follow our carnal desperations, Lord. We want to fulfill our physical bodies. We want to give pleasure to ourselves. And we neglect reading and praying your word. And that makes it easier and makes us vulnerable to the snares of the devil. Lord, please make us to study your word and also to pray without ceasing. We're living in the end times, Lord, and you are at the door. Mm. But Lord, if we are not ready, if we don't read your word, the devil will take us and win us easily. So, But if we read your word and we pray, it's not going to be easy for him to win us over. Help us, Lord, and help everyone who's watching right now. Make them to spend time with you. Make them to pray every time so that, Lord, when you come, you will find us ready and the devil would find it very hard to win us over because with you, we are more than conquerors. This is my humble prayer in the powerful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.